Prince Harry left fans feeling sorely disappointed after he failed to appear in an online live stream at a mental health summit in his role as chief impact officer of coaching firm BetterUp. The Duke of Sussex was listed as a speaker in advance of the event, which charged guests £1,300 to attend in person, but his attendance at a specific event wasn't given. Fans later learnt that he'd attended a session on managing the pressures of today's world and modern corporate life after a post was shared on his website sussex.com. It's been reported that fans are seeking ticket refunds for Harry's no-show, leaving the Better Up CEO fuming. At the session, Harry rubbed shoulders with the office star Mindy Carling as he appeared on the panel. Harry was joined by Dr Adam Grant, Better Up's chairman of the Centre for Purpose and Performance, and Kelly Jones, chief people officer at technology firm Cisco. One Hollywood insider has described this as a scuzzy move given Harry's role as chief impact officer at the Better Up mental health firm. He's nothing but a typical woke famous personality who uses serious topics like mental health or diversity to pad their own egos, clout and pockets, they added. I just picture him in that Nazi costume every time I see or hear his woke word salad speeches or appearances. I feel bad that the royals have to go about their business knowing one of their own is over here making a fool of himself at the age of 39. Carling was a guest on Meghan Markle's failed podcast Archetypes, which got the axe from Spotify nearly one year ago. At the summit, she, along with Harry and BetterUp executives, explored suggestions for how business leaders can best manage stress in their professional and personal lives. The session Beyond Burnout, Transforming C-Level Stress into Strength examines how C-Level leaders manage the unique pressures of their roles build resilience and foster a culture that supports sustainable performance, a press release describing the event read. The statement continued, the trio dove into the psychological toll of leading through uncertainty, sharing personal anecdotes, evidence-based practices and forward-thinking policies aimed at helping leaders thrive amidst the pressures of today's world and modern corporate life. Harry joined BetterUp in March 2021, shortly after his and Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. At the time of his transition in the firm, the Royal Observer reported on how the Duke was roasted online for his rank hypocrisy. One person said, Really appreciate that he found a job, but let's see, no university degree, no corp working experience, and yet he scored a C-suite job title. Big question mark and better up. Unless they're just looking for a mascot, while a second user echoed, Silicon Valley mental health startups absolutely shouldn't exist. Harry taking gobs of money to raise this company's profile and attract new investors under the guise of mental health advocacy is so cynical, it's astounding. A third user added, I'm kind of scratching my head over this. What experience does he have as a mental health coach? I know that he's spoken out about mental health issues, but that's one thing. It's another to be the top executive of a company that deals with this.